일어나자마자 의상부터 치카는 자영이. 어 그런데 교복이 아니네요. 아 오늘은 뉴질랜드 학생들이 사복을 입을 수 있는 머프티 데이였군요. 잘하지? 어, 손재주가 있어 아빠가 어. 그래, 약간 이렇게 하면 돼. 왁스 해줄까 왁스? 살짝? 왁스 해줄까 왁스? 살짝? 아빠 해줄게 언니랑 똑같이 해줄게 근데? 음, 이게 안 갈라져 머리가 하지? 하나로 묶어줄까 이렇게? 다행히 자영이 마음에 쏙 드나 봅니다. 올려줄까, 다 했어? 그래? 응, 다 준비 다 됐어. 네. 잘 갔다. 예, 잘 갔다. 아빠 치고. 오늘은 사복도 입고 기부도 하는 머프티 데이입니다. 아이들이 기부하는 1, 2달러의 동전이 금색이라 골드 도네이션이라고도 부릅니다. 그래서 이렇게 골드로 한껏 멋을 부리기도 하고요. 톡톡 튀는 옷으로 개성을 마음껏 드러내기도 하죠. 자영이도 인디안 소녀처럼 정말 예쁘네요. Well done to everyone who donated money towards the Spirit of Gold Mufti Day. We have raised over $640. Thank you. Although Holly won, she was in the production and could not go to the zone competition. 
So we thought it would be a really nice thing to have this morning. So we have this speech camera, like a speech competition. And this girl won the year seven. So, except for right now when I'd like to work on Holly. Do you get annoyed that the teachers aren't treating us fairly? They tell us not to wear things that they are wearing themselves. And I know how to fix that problem, to treat the teachers and students fairly. The teachers should wear uniform, and that is what my speech is about. I think that wearing a uniform would show unity with the students. And showing unity is important, because wearing a uniform promotes a sense of belonging at our school. Now this is so annoying. Now this is so annoying. While the teachers are wearing thick polar fleeces, scarves, and big jackets, us children are freezing in our little thin tops and they go and open the windows because it's a bit stuffy. They make us shiver even more, like, hello, have you even taken one glance at your shivering students? But yes, if the teachers wore uniform and had to wear thin tops as well, you wouldn't need to open the windows and everyone would be their own perfect temperature. If you still don't agree with me, truly, think about it. How come the teachers don't need to buy a $400 uniform? Or they get to wear as much laser as they want and don't get told off. Uniforms are required in many professions, why not for the teachers too? And finally, it would show unity and professionalism. The teachers should wear uniform. New Zealand 학생들이 이렇게 스피치에 강한 이유. Dr. Wu, the Henchlayers. Particularly, the knowledge-gaining Right, this is today's one. Take 30 seconds in your own head to have a think about what it might be. Who's got an idea of what it could be? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Maybe a jewelry shop exploded. Mm -hmm. Something happened. There's a big diamond. It's a meteor. Or someone tried to sell a big diamond and dropped it. Started for the children to come up with their stories, and then the children brainstorm all the different ideas that they could possibly use, and then choose one. So at the moment we've set success criteria, so the things that they have to have in their stories to make their writing better. And they include that as they go. So some of them, sometimes they'll write their story and then go back and make sure they have those things. And other times they'll just include them as they go. Something happened, there's a big diamond. In a rainy day, one billion of diamonds was raining from the sky. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be a great plan. You might want to brainstorm in the middle. What type of things are you going to be brainstorming? A hook? So if you're writing the narrative, which we all are, what does your plot need? Problem? What's going to happen after the problem? A resolution. Nice. Can brainstorm with a partner. Go. 상상한 이야기를 바탕으로 친구들과 아이디어를 나누기도 하고 혼자서 생각해 보기도 합니다.
뉴질랜드 아이들에게 글 쓰기 전 브레인스토밍은 필수인데요. 생각에 가지를 치면서 보다 깊고 논리적으로 사고할 수 있는 힘을 기르게 되겠죠. 여기서 잠깐 본격적인 글쓰기 앞서 세 가지 조건이 있습니다. What would be a really good thing to have? I've actually got one that I'm going to get everyone to do. <laughs> so you need at least one language feature. Shall we name what that one's going to be, or are you going to just have your two different ones? So not two similes, a simile and something else. If the little house, how many paragraphs will you have? At least what? Three, because it's going to be beginning, middle, end. And have different sentence starters for every sentence, if you can. 세 가지 조건을 생각하며 신중하게 글쓰기에 돌입한 아이들. 브레인스토밍으로 꼼꼼히 기획했던 문장이 이렇게 하나의 스토리로 탄생했습니다. 3, 2, 1, t h a t s it. Right, what I'd like you to do, since so most of you are too scared to share in the whole crowd, could you turn to someone you were not working with, someone you were not working with, and share with them, please? But why don't we don't know who do you want to read it to her? Me, just, uh, yeah. In a rainy day, one billion diamonds were raining from a million ships. ship. A little boy called Andrew, he was playing in a muddy playground. Ground. All of a sudden, diamonds were falling from the sky. He was surprised at one beneath of diamonds, so he decided to bring this to a dream and his dad. His dad had a disability cancer, but he had no money to go to the hospital. When he bring to his dad, he, that his dad cra was crying for help. 한편 민경이네 반은 버스에 탑승했습니다. 과연 민경이는 무슨 수업을 받으러 가는 걸까요? Okay, we're ready to get started. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about how robots are taking over the world and we're going to get into some robotics. And if you could think of um, something in that you might encounter in your day-to-day -day lives that used to be a person's job and has now been taken over by robots and automation, can you think of anything? Self-checkouts, yeah, so that used to be people's jobs, and now we've got heaps of self-checkouts. Um, so today we're going to be creating 
our own robot that's going to take over someone's job. And can anyone tell me, can anyone think of something that would be really important to me as an adult? Like the most important thing. Yes. Money. Nope. More important than money. <laughs> yes. Taxes. Taxes. Oh, things I need to do. What do you think I need before? It's coffee machine! Yes, coffee! Okay. I like산업의 하나로 각광받고 있는 로봇. 그 중에서도 실용 로봇이 인기를 끌고 있는데요. 이러한 자동화 시스템이 상용화된 미래를 대비해 아이들은 앞으로 어떤 로봇이 필요한지 또 어떻게 활용해야 하는지 배우게 됩니다. 로봇의 작동 원리를 파악하고 가장 효과적인 디자인을 설계하는 배달 로봇 만들기 수업. 정말 재밌겠죠? So once you've finished making, uh, reverse engineering your robot and you've gotten it to follow the line, you can start taking all these pieces off and building some kind of a platform or something that will carry a plate. And you guys can open the buckets and get started on your reverse engineering. Yeah. 